wake up wake up and listen to me november almost gone you have less than 50 days left for your je first attempt post that you will be having your board examinations post that you will be having the second attempt of je mains and finally the je advance if you are in a state that you feel sir the mock test results which i am getting leave about getting into an iit getting into a respectable nit is a far fetched dream for us do not worry because i am here with the plan the road map i am planning to share with you will actually prove this that starting je from zero is actually possible many of our students have already done it and i'm sure you will also be able to crack it but for that you need to have a will because where there is a will you always find a way so you need to search for a well structured plan which will finish each of the chapter in a maximum of 4 or 5 hours and a minimum of 3 hours and when you will sit with that plan for the coming 60 days being consistent then you can apply your the ideal one is to two rule so what is that if you read your theory for x amount of time ideally you should practice questions related to that theory for 2x amount of time but since we are short of time on our hands so we can apply one is to one rule that is if we are reading theory for x amount of time then we should ideally invest a minimum of x amount of hours in practicing question of that particular theory so that that theory can be in sync to our mind and we can productively use it for a better correct answer during our je moving to the next step being consistent as i said we always have to follow one is to one rule if five hours you are giving to read a chapter i minimum need five hours to practice questions on that chapter so our step one is daily practice of those questions so your day one from today will be you have to read the chapter in a maximum of three to four hours so you should be given the complete theory of the chapter with relevant topic which we will be providing you with our elevate one shot series step two is the questions first you have to solve just finish the theory in that three four four point five minutes because some chapters the one shots that you will be getting may be extended because the relevant topics in that particular chapter are large in number so time consumption in explaining those theory is more but on an average 3 to 3.5 hours lecture you will get for each relevant chapter after uh, after studying to the theory shift and move to the question solving first you have to solve the problems from the lecture itself then go to solved examples of ncrt followed by the main thing pyqs the last section that is the practice sheet i highly recommend those who are starting from zero you can skip this but if you are not at all gaining confidence after doing those pyqs because let's say most of those pyqs you are attempting incorrectly then for that particular topic you should practice extra question from the sheet not for every topic now my next step after this is you have to repeat the above step let's say day one you have spent you have selected few chapters not by yourself through your mentors like the one shots that we will be giving you you just do that one shot in three four hours attempt question but you have to also decide and design this roadmap through the syllabus completion plan why because you have to finish all the chapters not just one chapter so what is your slavers completion plan i am giving you a timetable to follow how many are your day has 24 hours 
I am not here to dictate what time you wake up and what time you study. That is your democratic and moral right. But out of those 24 hours, I want 18 hours of you for this plan. You can divide that 18 hours in 9, 9 hours of 2 slot. What you will do with that, let us see through it. The average number of chapters per subject, you tell me, physics, chemistry, maths, average per subject, you will be having less than, I am taking the higher end of it, within 20 chapters, your one cha subject will be finished. Total number of chapters for J in that case, what is the total number of chapters that you have to read for getting a respectable AIR? Sir, 60 chapters, 20 chapters per subject into 3 is 60 chapters. What else? Time for reading and practice of each chapter. Now, this is where I feel our J Elevate one shots will help you because we have Try to make them concise so that you can finish the reading theory part in three hours. For some, it may be taking a little higher. And six hours because I have tried to make three is to two ratio. If you are reading theory for X hours, you should practice questions for two X hours. This is an ideal situation which one should follow. This makes total of 9 hours. So in 9 hours you will be finishing one chapter. Each day you have to make two such sessions. 9 hours into 2 makes 18 hours which is actually the most difficult and tedious thing to do. That's why my step 1 that was step 0 was that you have to be consistent. Sir, let's say if we follow this Tell me, tell us more. So those who are still interested and still watching the video, let us move ahead. So chapter finished per day will be two. You can finish two chapters out of those 60 chapters in a single day. Time required for the complete syllabus, that is you have 60 chapters. So how much time you will be requiring? Sir, 30 days. Leave those 50, 60 days. You can actually do this in 30 days. But the most important thing, utilize these buffer days. Do not think that I will study after 20 days because you definitely have to utilize these buffer days. Whatever these buffer days, maybe you can count on from your individual perspective from the date that you will be getting for your J January attempt because that will not be same for all. Moving to the final step, the step 3, which will actually make your percentile drastically up from 90, maybe till 99. How? This is the final step. You do not have to study on Sundays. Sundays are only meant for revision. So whatever buffer days, we made a plan for 30 days. But whatever buffer day you will be having, start having those buffer day in between also so that you're making small targets and achieving them every Sundays. So on Sundays, you will not study any new chapter, sir, then we will party. You will not party as well. You have to repeat and revise whatever you have studied in the previous days. So Sunday, there will be no new study. But there will be rigorous revision of whatever you have done in the previous in the current days in the previous days of that particular week. Make sure that you mark all the topics which you have covered in that in those previous days and note them on a copy or a piece of chart and stick it in front of your wall. Because those things that you are missing and that are getting out of your head, those points will be in front of your wall and will be helping you for getting your percentile till 99. The important topics, points and formulas, how you will know what are you forgetting with this Sunday revision day. But you have to report and discuss 
all your weekly achievement with your mentor. For that, what you can do is you can come to the comment section and always can comment on Sunday, sir, this many days I have been successful. So when you comment and commit your work, you will also feel accountable about your working. Post January attempt. Now I said that I will give you a plan for boards also. You are done with your mains. While studying for the mains, you have already cleared and read a large chunk of syllabus. So after that January attempt, whatever time you are left with, you can invest in your boards. So finally, with a bit of drum roll here, I'm finally giving the solution to your problem. Just go to the description section where you will find the link to our new PWJ English channel where mode of communication of learning will be pure English. And there you can join our Elevate J E Courage course. And do not worry because whatever will be teaching you all the curated lecture notes, the related assignments that you will be requiring for practice, you can download all of that for free from our PW app. But I want each and every one of you to actually put in your percentile in the comment below. Write your name that I, Gaurav Singh Arora, will definitely score 99.9 .9 percentile in January J2026. Be very clear with the statement because this is how clearly you will send your frequency to, to the universe and ultimately universe will also start reciprocating to work for you. Thank you and have a good day.